Hey, sixth graders, I've heard from some of you that you are interested in uh, astronomy or space science, uh, and I'm talking the real thing, not just my Star Trek story theme. Uh, so I got something for you. In the description section, there's some links, especially a link to this page. NASA asks, what would you pack for the moon? So I don't know if you've heard, but NASA has a program called Artemis, and it is a mission to send people back to the moon. In other words, our next moon mission. And they've got this nice uh, uh, activity where people are sharing what they would take, what personal items they would take to the moon. Now, if you compare uh, astronauts who go to the International Space Station are only allowed a teeny tiny uh, uh, bag to take personal items. It says here, the bag has to be five by eight by two inches. Well, I was like, what does that look like? So I got my ruler out and I looked at eight inches, which is just this long. And then five inches is only this long. Right there. And two inches, it's only this deep. So I, I tried to compare to a box. This is a box of 50 kid size masks. And this box is six and a half inches long by three and three quarter inches wide. But this one's deeper. It's three and a half inches. So if it was only two inches and a little longer, you'd have to fit all your personal items in here. Now, sure, the space station has everything else you'll need, but really, that's all you get to bring for personal stuff? I thought that was wild. Um, but here's what somebody put together for their NASA moon kit. You can see what this person would take. <laughs> Pretzels. I guess space food isn't all that great. So here's how this uh, activity works. You take a picture of the items that you're, you would take to the moon, um, and please send it to me. You can do a video or a photo, but if you want to do it on your own, you can post it on Instagram or if you have a Twitter or Facebook account, but make sure you use the hashtag NASA Moon Kit, like it says right here. And then you can follow the NASA Moon Kit hashtag, even if you don't participate, just to see what other people would take. But it's kind of fun to do it yourself. And if you like this type of stuff, scroll down here. There are three other challenges and an essay contest that you can participate in. But I was looking at this paragraph here. There's a green run rocket test planned for November. So I looked at that and um, it's the world's largest rocket stage. And it's, it's one of the first tests coming up for the mission. And you can see here it's got a liquid oxygen tank and a liquid hydrogen tank. And it goes through the checklist and has more information. So that's definitely one you should follow. And if you're not familiar with the Artemis program, click here. Because this tells you what it's all about. This website is, is really great. Um, Humanity's Return to the Moon. And it's got links to more information. And they say their success with this mission will change the Earth. Because they're building sustainable elements on and around the moon. Plus, you know, think in the future, uh, to get to Mars, which NASA's been wanting to do for a long time, it's easier to take off from the moon because you need less fuel because there's very little atmosphere, like none. Whereas on Earth, we have so much gravity and atmosphere. First of all, we have to get a rocket to uh, uh, break free of our gravitational pull and get through our atmosphere much easier on the moon. So it's got the space launch system. You can click and read for more information. Artemis generation spacesuits. Ooh, that's kind of exciting. Uh, so really good stuff here. So if you're interested, let me know in the message and maybe we can collaborate.